there guys so we're going to learn about tabs tab stops in Microsoft Word and these are really really good for alignment options okay when you want to align things we can use tab stops in our previous lesson we looked at indenting when we shifted things from one place to another from the left and from the right tab stops help us align things now we are already aware of our left align our centered right and justify we know those basic ones but what if we want to do align things very specifically that's what tab stops are for Again, we need to make sure that our ruler is on. Our ruler must be on. There it is there. Now, when the ruler is active and you have a look on the far left-hand side over here, that shows you the currently active tab stop in Microsoft Word. So let's have a look. That's the left aligned tab stop. Okay, if I click, it's going to change. That is a centered tab stop. If I click again, it changes again. That is a right aligned tab stop. And I click again, that is a decimal aligned tab stop. Okay, there are a couple others, but we're not going to worry about those. Let's go back. Now, if we have a look at the left aligned tab stop, this is what it does. I'm going to show you. So I'm going to click inside my line that says left tab, and I'm going to place a left aligned tab stop at five centimeters. I take my mouse, I click just underneath the five, and I click, and there is a left aligned tab stop. What does that mean? Well, when I take the words left tab, if I put my uh, cursor before the L and I press tab, it jumps across to five centimeters. Okay, let's have a look and turn on our show and hide formatting. You can see what that looks like. There it is there. One tab. I press tab once to get to five centimeters. Now, what a lot of people do, and I'll just take this and just drag it off there. Nice quick way of doing it, just drag it off, is like they will tab, 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 tab now they're at five but like how many times did they press tab like a lot of times okay so we don't do that we don't do that we are specific we are accurate so there we go left align tab stop at five press tab once and it tabs to five centimeters now i would like to do a right align tab same thing just go over here and we click and we click again and now we have a right align tab so I'm going to go to my ruler. Make sure you're in the row that you want to work with. Okay, it's just easier. Go to my ruler and let's do it at like 13 and click. And there is my right align tab stop set over there. So back to the beginning of the word right. And what do you think is going to happen? Well, I'm going to press tab and it tabs it to the right. Now, you probably haven't noticed much difference there. Let me show you. If I press enter, go into a new paragraph, and I tab again, and I type something, okay, do you see what's happening? It stays aligned to the right. There we go. Have a look. Voila. So it stays aligned to the right. Whereas anything on the left, let me show you, anything on the left, uh, oh, I didn't press tab, tab, and anything will then stay aligned to the left. So that's why we use left and right alignments. Now, let's have a look at the center tab. Well, I think you've probably figured that out by now. Yes, it just centers things. So let's just keep clicking till I get to my centered one. There it is there. Let's do like eight. I mean, that's the center of the page, kind of. Click, there's a center aligned tab stop. Click at the beginning of my words, my row, tab, centered watch what happens okay if i enter in a new paragraph that tabs carried through okay K takes the same settings through press tab and whatever i type do you notice it centers it automatically okay the decimal tab i think you guys know what this does now it's for decimals it's for numbers so watch this carefully i'll start with this row here let's go ahead and choose a decimal tab stop there it is there it's like an upside down t it's got that little dot the period the full stop okay to show you that it's going to be for decimals so let's do it here at seven just to be different good now watch this click there 0 0.84 okay i'm just gonna go to a new paragraph tab across if i just delete okay just bring that other row back up just to save some time can okay, i have a look and see what's happening to the decimals okay look at what's happening to the decimals just going to delete press enter and tab have a look do you notice that that decimal that point is kept the whole way like it was as if it was in a worksheet or some sort of accounting or financial records 
that's what the decimal tab is for okay so I'm gonna give you guys some exercises and activities to play around with this and get your head around tabs and tab stops it's actually a lot easier than you think again if you were asked to put in a tab stop at a particular point so not like five centimeters but 5.73 for some crazy reason again here we are paragraph paragraph open up your paragraph properties and here we have tabs there it is click on tabs and you can actually then type it in here you can go five um, whoops 5.73 centimeters and you just say set and there it is 5.73 centimeters and you can say is it a uh, oop, yeah left center right decimal you can pick them all up right there so easy okay so don't forget how I got there if you are given tab stop with a particular measurement just go to paragraph open up your paragraph settings and down at the bottom go to tabs that's one way of doing it okay a quicker way is if you just like go to one of these tabs you can actually just double click on it and you're there as well nice shortcuts okay so there you go tabs